Hi everyone, it's Jenna from Farmer John's Greenhouse. The weather is warmer, flowers are blooming, and hummingbirds are finally in Michigan. Today we'll be talking about how to attract hummingbirds to your yard. The most popular hummingbird you'll see in Michigan is a ruby-throated hummingbird. Now this hummingbird likes to migrate to Michigan around May, but you can put your feeders out as early as mid-April. Hummingbirds will stay for the season and leave about late August slash early September, but make sure to keep your feeders out for two weeks after your last hummingbird sighting, just in case of any stragglers. So first we're going to talk about hummingbird feeders. Now feeders come in many different shapes, sizes, and colors, so remember that hummingbirds are very attracted to the color red and orange, maybe even and pink so remember that when you're shopping for feeders and for your flowers. Here at Farmer John's we actually have many different style of feeders. For example this is one of our Egyptian glass feeders. It's a collectible handmade item from Egypt by a professional glass blower. We also have some saucer style feeders. These feeders the bottoms can actually be taken off and you're able to fill up your feeder from the bottom. If you don't want a glass style we also have plastic which opens up the exact same way. And we also have some smaller styles depending on the type of look you're going for with your feeders. Next we're going to talk about the correct way to fill your hummingbird feeder with nectar. Now we have nectar concentrate and also powder concentrate that you can use in your feeder. But depending on what you buy, most of the time you actually have to mix this with water. So for example, this one I believe it's measure one part concentrate to three parts water. Just listen to the instructions on whatever concentrate you buy and make sure that your ratio is correct. You can also make your own nectar at home by boiling four cups of water with one cup of granulated sugar. Just plain white granulated sugar. Don't add any dyes in it. Don't add any additives. That's all you need is the white granulated sugar and boiling water. You'll let it cool and there you go, you're good to go. Once you have your mixture ready at the beginning of season, you're only going to want to fill your hummingbird feeder about a third of the way. When hummingbirds start to arrive at peak season, then you can fill your hummingbird feeder about half the way. You never want to fill up your feeder all the way because you're going to be washing this out a lot. Especially during our hot summers, you're going to want to clean out your hummingbird feeder about I'd say twice a week or every few days, you may notice it getting a little icky or if there are little dark spots, then it might start to mold. So that's a little sign that you should definitely clean out your feeder. So you're going to want to place your feeder around other flowers in your garden so all your hummingbirds can be attracted to a similar spot. But be careful of direct sun because of the hot summer sun that we get here in Michigan. Summer sun will not be good for that nectar. And that's also why you only want to fill it about halfway full because you will be cleaning it out so often. So especially with the saucer styles, you May notice ants and other little critters trying to get into your hummingbird feeder so what you need is something called an ant guard now this ant guard very simple little tool you'll just fill it with water and it'll hook right onto the top of your hummingbird feeder and this will just deter ants and other insects from going into your hummingbird feeder hummingbirds are attracted to tubular flowers because they hold the most nectar our nursery gave us some great examples of perennials that will attract hummingbirds. Some examples include bee balm, coral bells, lobelia, agastache, and semen, columbine, and so much more. You can always give our nursery a call for some more suggestions. Hummingbirds are also attracted to colorful flowers, colors like red, pink, and orange. Some examples from our greenhouse include impatience, petunias, fuchsia, cigar plant, lantana, and mandevilla. We keep talking about bringing bright colors into your yard such as red, red feeders, red flowers, red ribbons, etc. to attract hummingbirds. This is because hummingbirds actually don't have a very strong sense of smell. Instead, they have great sight, they can see those colors and that's what they're attracted to, especially the color red, I'll say it again, and this will hopefully bring more hummingbirds into your yard. Remember, hummingbirds are loyal. They will remember your garden, they will remember your flowers and feeders and come back year after year, so make sure that you're ready for them. If you're really interested and want to learn more about these beautiful creatures, we have a tons of hummingbird books at our store here to learn more about the types of hummingbirds and how to attract more hummingbirds into your yard. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching and make sure to subscribe to see more videos like this. If you have any questions, comment them down below or you can call us directly at Farmer John's Greenhouse here in Farmington Hills, Michigan. It was great talking to you guys. We have Instagram and Facebook too if you'd like to subscribe and I'll hopefully see you guys next time. Bye!